What's up you guys, my name is Austin, welcome back to our NCAA 13 Dynasty with the New Mexico Lobos. As you can see right there, we have brought in new recruits to play football for us next year, and you will also be seeing a bunch of recruiting updates uh, on the people we've been going after. We've only got six people left on our board, um, and we have made very good pushes to, uh, to become first on many people's boards, such as Dennis Copeland, the 61 overall D tackle, has put us at the top, but let's get on into the game. We have the Air Force Falcons this week. We are playing away. And the Air Force Falcons are a very run-heavy team. They run uh, an option offense, uh, which means a lot of uh, handoffs uh, to the fullback, a lot of fake handoffs to everyone. The quarterback gets to run a lot. Uh, not that complicated. But the first play of the game for the New Mexico Lobos, Dave Vega under center. He's going to take the snap, and he's going to hand it up to Trayvon Briggs in the draw play, and Briggs is going to lose three yards and second and 13 now, David Vega under center is going to hand it off to the right side to Trayvon Briggs, who's going to lose more uh, yards on that carry. So it'll be third and 15. David Vega, shotgun formation with Trayvon Briggs to his left side. Vega's going to drop back to pass, find someone to throw it to, and he's going to find Trayvon Briggs. And Briggs is going to drop the ball before he can make a move. And it's going to become the Air Force Falcons ball. And on their first play from scrimmage, they're going to hand it off to Cobb, who is going to get around one yard on there after he bounces off a tackle, but he's not going to escape uh, the other one. <clears throat> Second and nine now. Deez is going to fake the handoff to his fullback. He's going to bounce off another tackle, but Dallas Balaba is going to clean up the tackle in the backfield, and he's going to make them lose seven yards on there. Third and 16, Deets dropping back to pass. He's going to throw it over the left side of the field to McArthur. It was a very dangerous pass, but it uh, ended up working out for him. First and 10 after the completion through the air. Dietz is going to loft it up again through the middle of the field. He's going to find his receiver. Another Tim Tebow-esque type pass. Not very, uh, let's say, powerful. But, I mean, it got the job done, right? First and goal now. And Dietz is going to fake the handoff to his fullback. Almost get tackled on the backfield. He's going to bounce off of two tackles. And he's going to make his way into the end zone. Touchdown Air Force Falcons 7-0 over New Mexico. And after the touchdown, Vega under center, handoff right side to Trayvon Briggs, who makes his way up the middle. And he's going to get around 12 yards on that carry right there. After getting the first down on the ground, uh, David Vega in the shotgun formation is going to throw it over the right side of the field to Quintel Solomon, who will get around 5 yards on that play, but the Lobos would falter, and they would end up giving the ball back to Air Force, who in the next play would run an option, and they would lose 3 yards as the quarterback could not pitch it back to his running back, uh, try to make another play. But on third down, Dietz has all kinds of time, and he's going to throw it over the right side to his receiver, but he is not going to come up with the catch as Barry uh, knocked the ball out of his hands. First and ten now for David Vega and the Lobos. Vega's going to drop back the pass, and he is going to get sacked and lose four yards on that play. Third and 14. David Vega's in the shotgun formation, trying to find someone to throw to. He's going to take off right up the middle of the field, and he's oh, he is so close to getting the, the first down. Fourth and one now, and the Lobos are going to fake the punt, and it goes right to the up back who gets the first down. Wow, some trickery going on for the Lobos, but third and five. Vega under center with Trayvon Briggs right behind him. Vega looking for someone to throw it to. He's going to scramble to his right side, throw off, an off-balance throw, and they would send out Justice Adams for the field goal. Who will knock home the 53-yard field goal, 7-3. Air Force still beating the Lobos right now. And second and nine after the 53-yard field goal by Justice Adams. Dietz is going to fake the handoff to his fullback. He's going to make his way up the middle of the field. And he's going to get, get the first down. Yes, he's going to get the first down. First and ten after that play. Dietz under center, dropping back to pass. And he's got all kinds of time again, but he's going to take off. And he's going to get sacked. He could have he could have waited. He might have had another play uh, open somewhere on the field, but he decided to take off, and you can see right there, Barry making a nice play again. Uh, swatting the ball away. And let's see, punt return Mills uh, back deep for the Lobos, and he is going to receive the punt, make his way to the left side of the field. He's going to bounce off of the, oh, a would-be tackler. He's going to make his way up past 50, the 40, the 30, and no one is going to catch him, and touchdown... Punt return touchdown at that New Mexico above Air Force 10 to 7. And Dietz is going to complete a pass uh, for about 17 yards right there. But second and 13, Dietz in the shotgun formation. He's going to take off 
Uh, design quarterback run, it looks like, and he's going to get around nine yards on that as Dallas, Dallas Balma uh, would take him down. And on third down, they would hand off to Cobb, but Cobb would not be able to get the first down for the Air Force Falcons. And New Mexico ball, De Vega under center, drop back to pass, and he is sacked. Wow, second and 16 now, play action pass. Trayvon Briggs, David Vega, moving up, ooh, scrambling to his right side, and he's going to throw it over to Trayvon Briggs. Not a very smart idea, and it looks like David Vega is hurt, and he would be back, though, just a minor injury, and you see right there, uh, second and five as they hand it off to their fullback, who gets uh, close to the first down, and they go back to the fullback on third down, and he's going to pick up the first down. Air Force Falcons marching down the field. Uh, using the ground game to their advantage as they are a very speedy team. And uh, this not very fast New Mexico defense is not uh, doing a very good job containing the option. You can see right there, MacArthur receives the wide receiver jet sweep and makes his way up to the 10-yard line. Second and seven now. Dietz under center is going to hand it off to Cobb, and Cobb is going to bust his way up the middle of the field. And I believe he did not get the touchdown. Yes, he did not get the touchdown. First and goal play right after it's going to be a touchdown. Cody Getz makes his way into the end zone after uh, a weird uh, toss play. It looked like a wingback toss. But first and ten after that touchdown, Vega's going to find Lamar Thomas across the right side of the field, get up to around midfield. First and ten now after that big completion through the air. Vega's going to find his tight end read, and he's going to almost get the first down. Second and inches, I believe, as Vega sends his tight end in motion, handoff to Briggs, and Briggs is going to lose yards on that. Third and three, Vega in the shotgun formation. He's going to give the ball to Trayvon Briggs on a draw play, and Briggs is going to actually get the first down. Uh, almost got stopped right before the first down marker, but first and ten, Vega drop back to pass. He's looking for someone to throw it to, and he finds Ajo across the middle of the field on the tight end cross. And it would be third and eight, though. As the second quarter is about to come to an end, Vega in the shotgun formation is going to throw it over the right side of the field to his receiver, but is going to be picked off, and he is going to make his way down the sideline past the 40, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and no Lobo. So we'll be able to catch up to the Air Force defender. Pick six, 21 to 10 Air Force. Uh, quarter almost over as David Vega... Uh, shakes off a would-be tackler, and he throws it over the left side of the field to Edwards, and Edwards makes his way across the middle of the field to the right side of the field, and cuts his way back across, and Mexico would use a timeout right there. Eight seconds left in the quarter, Vega back by himself in the shotgun, throws it deep, and Ty Kirk comes up with the catch! Touchdown, New Mexico! 17-21, to going into the second half. Air Force would receive the ball uh, <clears throat> to begin the second half, and Dietz would throw it over the middle of the field to his receiver, uh, I believe that was Hunter, who would be shaken up slightly. I believe he would be uh, out for the next week. I am not sure. Uh, but as you can see right there, they hand it off to Cobb, and Cobb makes his way up the left side of the field for a, at least 30 or 40-yard gain on the ground. Um, and there's a draw play on first down to Cobb, and Cobb makes his way through a, a, a pack of Lobos, and he did not get taken down easily. Uh, he had to work to get that guy. And first and ten as they hand it off to DeWitt, the fullback, makes his way up the middle of the field uh, for around six yards as he muscles his way through. Second and four. They send a receiver in motion. They hand it off to MacArthur. And MacArthur makes his way up the right side of the field. Touchdown, Air Force, 28-17. Uh, midway through the third quarter and a play-action pass. And he's David Vega's going deep. He finds Ty Kirk again. Touchdown, Lobos. 24-28, a nice shootout going on here in uh, Air Force Terror or Air Force Country. My bad. As Dietz is going to not pitch the ball in the option, take it himself, get around seven yards. Uh, Dietz is under center, sends Cobb in motion, and he fakes the handoff to Dewitt, throws it over to Getz, and Getz is going to get tackled in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard on that play. Third and four now. Dietz under center, play action pass. He's going to run up oh, the middle of the field right through the Lobos defensive line, and he is going to get taken down after around 10 yards. But they would send uh, Cobb in motion. Handoff to DeWitt, though, as DeWitt muscles his way through that entire defensive uh, line and the linebackers of the Lobos. And on first and 10, uh, it's going to be a short dump out to um, their running back, who's not going to make anything happen. And they would lose a yard. 
And the play after, they would hand it off to him, though, and he would make his way up to around the 19-yard line. And you can see right there, 16 rushes for 91 yards. Uh, very, very good day for him on the ground as the handoff goes to Getz. And Getz actually uh, breaks some tackles, and he does not want to go down. Finally goes down after a 7-yard gain. Uh, third and three, Dietz hands the ball out. No, he keeps it himself. Oh, he makes his way up to the... Oh, the goal line? I believe the goal line. Yes, he did not get the touchdown, but they would hand it off to DeWitt right after that in. Touchdown Air Force, 35-24. What can New Mexico come up with? There's a play action pass. David Vega throws it over to Ty Kirk, who drops the ball. Would have been around the midfield uh, after he would, been, he would have been taken down. Let's see, second and 10. David Vega throws it deep once again. Did he find Ty Kirk? Yes, he has found Ty Kirk. Ty Kirk taken down on the 16-yard line. Wow, that is the third giant deep ball. Ty Kirk has Air Force jumps off sides. Doesn't matter. Briggs would not make anything happen with that play. And second and four now after the offside penalty. Vega's going to throw it over to Thomas. Whoa, that was an impressive pass. Gets it around the Air Force linebacker. Air Force would regain possession of the ball. 35-31, and they would hand it off to their fullback who would not make much of that play. Third and four, they would hand it off to Cobb, though, and Cobb would get the first down, and let's see, the seconds are winding down here in the third quarter, and Cobb's going to receive the handoff, and he's going to get the first down, and that would take us into the fourth quarter, and the beginning of the fourth quarter, Dietz is going to hand it off to Cobb, and Cobb's going to make his way up to the middle of the field, to around midfield, and second and two now, Dietz, oh, gets taken down before he can pitch the ball, out to his, receipt, or his running back, my bad, uh, before he could do any more damage. But the handoff goes to DeWitt on third down. And there's a flag on the field. Let's see what it is. Holding on Air Force. And New Mexico is going to accept that penalty. Uh, third and 13. Air Force is going to, to try and get past uh, midfield to keep control of the ball. Dietz in the shotgun. He's going to throw it over to the middle of the field to his receiver, Cobb. Could not find anybody else, so he chose his uh, running back, and that did not work out very well. First and ten now as they hand out to Trayvon Briggs. Briggs hits around five yards on that uh, that carry right there. Second and five, Vega under center with a fullback. Trayvon Briggs gets the handoff, and he's going to be tackled out of bounds for a three-yard loss. Third and eight, Vega under center with Trayvon Briggs right behind him. Vega's going to get sacked by a rush of Falcons who came untouched through the offensive line as Dietz with the handoff or the fake handoff again and he gets around uh, 12 yards on that run right there and it's going to be another receiver jet sweep when they have been using that uh, to its full potential they have been getting very good results out of that second and two now Dietz on the option he is going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage lose three yards as Cobb is going to receive the handoff and not get the first down and the Lobos would get another chance to try and score uh, as the draw play goes to Trayvon Briggs, and he would lose two yards. Uh, not very good blocking as the <laughs> Falcons would seem to be ready for that. But as the pass goes to Lamar Thomas, gets around eight yards on that play, and he gets uh, to the 25-yard line. Vega under center on third and four. Throws it over to Ty Kirk, and it's picked off by the Air Force defender. I don't know how he did that. That seemed very... Oh, wow. Seems like he was at the right place at the right time. As we are under two minutes left to go in the game, as Dietz is going to fake the handoff and take it up the middle, but he's not going to get anywhere. As the minute, uh, <clears throat> this is a minute left in the game, I am sorry. As Dietz gets past uh, the first down marker, and I'm pretty sure New Mexico will have to use a timeout right there and hand off to Cobb. And New Mexico would use another timeout. They have one timeout left in the game with a minute six left to go. Cobb with the handoff, and he's not going to get the first down. And that would be New Mexico's last timeout, third and in inches, with a minute left in the game. And Cobb is stopped behind the line of scrimmage, and they would have to send out their their kicker, who is going to put the field goal up and through the uprights for a seven-point lead, 15 seconds to go in the game. New Mexico has to score, and Vega throws it deep, and he finds Lamar Thomas, who is passed all of the Air Force defenders touchdown New Mexico. And if they kick the extra point, 
They are going for two. They are going for two right now, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on with this? What has Coach Gifford got planned? Is he he's just he just wants this win right now. Vega by himself. He throws over to Quintel Solomon, and it's not going to be caught. Knocked away by a defender, and this is the last chance they have is to recover an onside kick and go deep. And New Mexico comes up with the recovery. And the last play of the game, six seconds left to go. They do not have enough time uh, for another play after this. And Vega throws it as deep as he can, and it's caught by Ty Kirk. But he cannot get away from the defenders. Uh, David Vega had a very, very good day today. Uh, 390 yards and four touchdowns as Connor Dietz um, had 75 yards today and like I said they are just a very run heavy team Trayvon Briggs however did not have a very good day 12 attempts for 18 yards but uh, on the Air Force side of the ball uh, Cobb had 136 yards Dietz with 88 and receiving wise though Ty Kirk and Lamar Thomas uh, they were very very good today uh, and MacArthur was the their leading receiver. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, Joe Stoner and Javari Johnson, Dallas Balama, each uh, put in a lot of effort. And on their side, Austin Nicholas and Means uh, were their star defensive players. Anyways, guys, we have Fresno State next week. Uh, it's at home. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. The link or everything you need to know is going to be in the description. And I'll talk to you guys later.